I'm Martin Cole, I live in Mariners Cove here, Mandra, West Australia. Uh, this is a uh, 24 foot Jackman design and it was built in 1996 and it's uh, 2.7 beam which I like. Oh, it's an alley and it's uh, oh, 7.3 or 24 foot. Oh, I've had this boat for over 15 years and it's just a, a good all round boat. It does everything, fishing, diving, family cruise, barbecues. Right, we're in the um, canals here and it's a sort of a half hour ride down to the ocean and 20 minutes and you're into this big estuary and there's plenty of crabs in the summer and uh, net fishing if you're into that and broom and whiting and it's, it's a great place to live. Yeah, well we can go, we're, we've got plenty of places to go in the water now, plenty of restaurants, bars, or even if you just want to throw the little barbie on and uh, just anchor up and have a swim. So Martin brought the boat to us in June or July of this year and his existing uh, diesel stern drive was a Mercruiser. It was a 7.3 litre uh, Mercruiser, again 270 horsepower. And whilst there was actually really nothing wrong with the motor itself, it, it had hung in there for quite a while, it was getting a little bit long in the tooth. Yeah, I decided to stick with the Merc because um, I'd had such a good run out of the old one. And the the fit up was the same, the engine beds were the same, the mounts were the same, the old one had a uh, Bravo 3, so it was just a straight bolt up, there's no welding to be done, or it was just an easy fit up. Generally when someone does a, a stern drive, single single stern drive application, it can happen in probably two to three weeks. Yeah, well it was pretty easy, um, we decided we are going to do it over winter when things are quiet, it was a good little winter project, so everything went pretty smooth. Oh, I wasn't out of the water for very long at all. I didn't take much notice, but it had only been about two weeks, I think, start to finish. Sure. So performance-wise, with the new V6 270 horsepower, three litre diesel, we've seen just a massive improvement in fuel economy. Oh, it's just the, the fuel economy is great. And it's just a, a new engine, so you've got that reliability. And, but the, the old, old economy was pretty good, and this is even better, better again. Yeah, well, we done one fishing trip, and it was only come back and only used 60 litres for the day. It was just amazing. So as we were able to stick, stick with diesel to diesel, the new three litre V6 from Mercury has got, physically got a smaller footprint. So for our guys in the workshop, when it comes to servicing the motor once a year, serviceability is a lot easier. We've got a lot more room to move around within the actual engine bay itself. Oh yeah, the turbos and the new ones are really great. You just, they just take off. The old one was a, a little bit slow to get going, but once it got going, it was okay. But there's, yeah, these just accelerate like you wouldn't believe. Yeah, well, you've got all that information on that one gauge, all your fuel usage, you, everything's on that one gauge. Just got to scroll through it. So if your hull is 10 to 15 or 20 years old and you do love it, like you just absolutely love your hull, but you like some more reliability on the water, you can see yourself boating in that boat for the next 10 to 15 years. A stern drive repower is what can offer some peace of mind out in the water and therefore whether you pass the boat on through the family or you do sell it in 10 or 15 years time, at least for that time period, uh, you've got your great hull that you love and you've got some reliability out in the water.